Welcome back, this is the start of Metal Gear Solid Disc 2. And I had a little bit of problems actually, getting this to actually change a disc on um, this emulator, but I've downloaded a newer version, which I should have been, I should have done ages ago, but I kept putting it off, but um, you'll notice we got some new sound effects. They seem to have added them, and they still sound a little bit off compared to what I remember, but uh, it's not bad, it's alright. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased. Ooh, my word. And we're about to enter an area called the Blast Furnace. And yeah, it's got a Blast Furnace inside it, so... Um, just keeping my eye on this guard. He's a bit tricky to get around this guy, actually. Um, I'm debating whether or not to shoot him. Because otherwise... He may end up spotting us. And I'll show you why in a second. You'll see... There's like a, um, sort of like a crane type thing moving there. Yeah. Well, that thing really slows us down. But anyway, you'll see in a second, but... Um, right, how are we going to do this? Mm. There is actually a lift, a, like, there, but the, uh, the thing itself is actually on the ground floor. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Oh, he didn't hear us there, that's good, but is he going to come back this way? Right, so you have to really hug the wall here, while avoiding this giant crane thing, and you have to crouch like this, otherwise it'll knock you into the molten metal below. And we don't really want that. Now, is that guard going to see us? He's, we're very close to his uh, cone of vision there. I think we've picked a good time. Right, let's go for it. Hey, now that was impressive. Impressive snake. Usually, it takes a lot longer for me to do that part. I mean, God knows how he balances on that narrow ledge, but uh, see all the little rats running across there? I've just missed some ammo as well. Oh, oh well. Now, there is another guard somewhere. Aha, I see him. Now, this dude might be slightly more difficult to avoid. Possibly. And these damn floors are noisy as well, so we've got to be careful, really. Does he actually come up here? Does he come up these stairs? He might not do. This area has always fascinated me with the, uh, you know, like the lava, basically, at the bottom. Be pretty warm. You don't really want to fall in it. Uh, I can't actually see where the guard's gone. Oh, I'll look on my radar, that would help. Uh, looks like he patrols that bottom area. Hmm. And that's actually where we need to go. There's like a big, um, big cargo lift that we need to use to get down underground towards where Metal Gear actually is. And, uh, I suppose I better be making a move at some point, but I think I may have missed my opportunity. There's actually, you see the item there? That sort of uh, unique item box? That's the body armor, which reduces damage when you have it equipped. And I could have picked that up at uh, an earlier point, but I didn't. I missed it. So I'm going to grab that, because that will help with um, some later fights and stuff. The only problem is, I will have to um, avoid some cameras as well, and possibly some steam out of the pipes. I'm going to have to kill this guard, I know I am. And I don't want to, really. I'm going to avoid killing, because I've killed so many people already, it's like, it's getting ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, plenty of items to uh, go about. In fact, what's down here? Anything good down here? Apart from a ration, which is always useful. Nothing. Oh, wait a sec. Ooh, hello. Sneaky ammo. Now, where is he gone? Oh, he's above us. I can see him. Hmm. Uh, am I going to be able to get past him? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my word. So he does come up across here. Oh, no. Don't be doing this, man. Don't trap me. Oh, I've just realized. Because I had to reload um, a file, I didn't pick up all that stuff in the snowfield, so I haven't got my cardboard box. Bugger, I should have done that. I should have done that off screen because you've already seen me collect all that stuff. Damn. Oh well. Half of our box is disappearing into the wall there. Please don't see me, dude. 
Please don't see me. I'm just a box. Oh, he's gonna fucking see. Oh, he's seen me. You've gotta be kidding. He's, why would you? Why would you check it? I'm in the corner. I'm well out of harm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he just gonna leave me alone? That that never happens. Have I just got a little bit of luck finally with the cardboard box? I think I did. Oh, happy days. Well, that is nice. Oh, don't come back down. Don't tell me he's trapped me here. If so, that is a really... Cr he has. If he's just going to keep on patrolling this... This place. You've just... The box is... Why would you go check it again? It's not a surprise anymore. Don't you dare... Oh, good. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Oh shit! What? Get out of the way. You, you look at the snake just hiding there. Ah, oh, you've got to be. That's just ridiculous. I don't understand. Where did you come from? I didn't see you run a, run down the stairs. Where did you come from? It was, that's no, 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 guards. Defying the laws of physics, there was no possible way for you to s just suddenly spawn there. Oh, shit. Just die, please. Right. Where are they coming from? What's that? Oh, it's a box. Dick. God damn. I'm just gonna knock this guy out. There we go. Oh, slow down. Lovely. Right. I should have ran then, yep. Should have ran. I'm running now. Probably gonna. Ooh, I know. I know. He better not see me now. He's gonna run all the way back. He's gonna run all the way. Oh, the game cheated me so badly there. Ooh, damn. You know what? Screw you. Screw you, my friend. I tried to be sneaky. I tried to just, you know, mind my own business, but. Yeah. I, I didn't realize, um. You know, his patrol sort of changed. Now, here's the uh, the bottom of that elevator shaft. Got some C4. So we could go back up to the top if we wanted to. Um, there's no more guards over here, is there? That are going to suddenly... I mean, how the hell did they just suddenly appear down there? There was no physical path for them to take without taking the stairs. And I didn't see him run down the stairs. Crafty. So, I took a lot of damage there. Um, unnecessarily got spotted. I'm very annoyed about that. Oh, I'm very annoyed, Snake. I am very... Oh, look at that ration. That is dangerous. That is asking for... Some to, oh, I might as well just swan dive into the drink. And in fact, I don't really want to be getting too close to the edge. Because you never know. Right, I want that body armor. How do I get it? I'm going to leave that ration where it is. Uh, what are people going to say about this place, anyway? Snake, that's a blast furnace. No shit! Blast furnace? What do they use that for? There's Blasting no furnaces? On the base, so it's hard to bring in supplies. They must have built a blast furnace so they could make building materials and such. That makes sense. Whew. I'm starting to sweat. It's getting kind of warm. The entrance to the underground base is further below. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. That's like a copy and paste from the uh, thing he said earlier in the game, isn't it? Anyway, so... Um, sorry about my violent reaction to the Colonel stating the obvious, but it just annoys me sometimes. It's like, yeah, I know this is the Blast Furnace. It said when I entered. And this is the steam I was talking about. You don't really want to be touching that stuff. That stuff is warm. Is it ever going to stop? Yes. Right. Uh, looks like I'm going to be crawling under that one. Maybe? Oh no, there's one on the floor as well. Holy shit. I'm going to have to time this just right. 
Ooh, I think I'm a bit too close to it there. Alright, we'll just wait for the next one. And uh, then we'll go, Snake. Uh, any second now. There we go. Nicely done, nicely done. Any more jets of steam going to kill me? I don't even need that ammo. I'm not going to bother with that. So we want to be crawling through here. And, oh my word. Those cameras... Are they going to see me? No, they're not. That's very, very lucky. Uh, chaff. Yeah, and because I didn't pick up all those items in the snowfield, I have, well, not that many chaff grenades. So, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to chuck this. And I'm going to grab that armor. There we go. Anything else I want to grab? Stinging missiles, fine. Okay. Right, let's avoid the steam again. But the body armor is really good. I like the body armor a lot. Bulletproof vest. Reduces damage upon impact, so that's nice. In fact, I'll uh, have that equipped. And it actually changes his appearance. I didn't even... I don't remember it doing that before. Oh yeah, it's actually showing him wearing it. Funny I've never noticed that. Or at least I can't remember noticing that in the past. Right, where's the steam? What is this steam going to shoot out of? Ooh. Shit. It's pretty close. Whoa. That would burn your face right off. Nasty. Right, go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh, just about made that. And this one should be easily dodged. Yeah. Piece of piss. Right. I'm actually very, very, very tempted to go back to the snow field for some supplies. Yeah, I can't believe I never never realised that he actually... actually showed up on him. You know what, I am just going to go back to the snow field very, very quickly, get all those items I missed, or, you know, got in the last video, and, um, you'll ju Oh shit, this dude's up here though, isn't it? I didn't kill him. But luckily, he's going the other way, so... Uh, I tell you what, guys, I'll just meet you back in front of the cargo elevator, so see you in a second. Actually, guys, you know what? There's a little thing to show you here. Sniper Wolf's body has gone, but there's this little puppy, this little wolf puppy running around now. And he's actually got his own, you know, cone of vision and everything. Now, I don't know what else you can actually do. Ah, this is where Sniper Wolf... Uh, died, wasn't it? The blood stain still in the snow. I don't know what this wolf actually does. Look at him having fun. Anyway, I've always liked that. Right, sorry about that. I'll uh, see you back in the blast furnace. And here we go. We're back in the blast furnace. All kitted out now with all that ammo that I missed and uh, the cardboard box. And we have the body armor as well. So let's go to this cargo elevator that the colonel mentioned, which will take us down underground. Right, now. I know there's some items to pick up around here, but I have a... F I don't think it's actually this area. There are some mines at some point, but um, we might be okay. And I'm actually going to use up a ration there and equip my body armor because... Well, you'll soon see. And in fact, the elevator isn't actually here yet. Here it is. It's a big old thing. And uh, that is a long way down. Yeah, alright, so pick up all these items before we step on the elevator. Lift. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Okay, we're full. Ooh, hello. And for, no, we. I think we're pretty, pretty, uh, pretty set actually. That's fine. On we go. Descending into the darkness. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Damn. 
Well, Snake, we didn't see that coming, did we? Oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. I'm going to throw these guys over the edge. Or, you know, get shot lots. Oh, no need for that, my friend. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I've not been <laughs> playing very well here. Hang on. And he's gone. And hang on. Oh, I wish they'd stop shooting me. He's gone. He's about to go. And he's gone. Easy. Just took a little bit of damage there, but that's how I like to do that fight. Why the hell they made all those crazy noises when they were jumping down on there? It was just no need for that, really. Bit extravagant. Right, this is the area with the mines, I think. But we don't have a radar, of course. Because it's jammed. So, oh, and in fact, I think there's gun cameras as well. Yeah, look at that one. That's not good. Hmm. Right then, why are we going to go about this? I'm sure there's mines here. Oh, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, 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 oh. I do hate gun cameras with a with a passion. Go back to green is good. Green is good, red is dead. All right. Let's chuck ourselves some chafe grenades. Only four. I thought I had more than that. Bugger. All right. Well, uh, with this new version of the emulator, we'll get some nice noises now. Which is actually what is supposed to happen when you chuck a chaff grenade. Oh, were well, there not any mines there? Ah, there might not be at this point. But later there might be. That's all I'm going to say. And I think we're actually going to be safe on this one. There's no more guards. We just have quite a long trip on our hands now. And we might possibly have a codec call coming up. Can you hear those ravens? Uh oh. That I don't think that's a good sign. Um definitely not. I think you can actually shoot them. If they land on the uh on the, yeah, I think you can shoot them. I might do that. Look at it, he's actually aiming at him. There we go. Oh, codec call. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. Oh. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Hmm. Well, we obviously know something's wrong. This story doesn't quite fit, but uh, I wanted to shoot more ravens. 